Welcome back, everybody, to Scum. So, we are still on the roof of this farm. Still kind of waiting for uh, zombies to hop in, but uh, I don't see anybody right now, actually. Not complaining. Easy to get down to the car. So, oh wait, no, here they are. Well, there's two. the others then. It's anybody's guess now, isn't it, really? Is it just the two of them? No. Are they just, we'll just wait for them to all to walk out of the bushes. <laughs> all the trees. <laughs> but that's fine. They're, they're bloody miles away now. I haven't, I haven't changed the settings either. Um, you know, I'm going to keep them as they are. I like... I can't though, can I? Like... All the way over there. There's something else over here as well. I think it might be another chicken, you know. Look, just brazenly walking about. Oh, it's right for the pick but that's okay. So today's plan is uh, we're going to go round all the vehicles and go and collect all of the stuff that we've basically left in all the cars. Um, so that's going to be the first plan. So we've got... What have we got? We've got some in a vehicle here, I think. We've got uh, some in a truck uh, in C3 Town. And we've got some in that Wolfswagen in this little town here. And then, I think, I'm going to spend today is finding somewhere to call home. Now, thinking about it, I am half tempted, not necessarily, because some of you said, oh, it'd be nice to build from scratch, and some of you have said, oh, <laughs> we can't pass up a goat, can we? <laughs> some of you said that it would be good to do prefab. So I'm thinking why not do, uh, some of you also suggested, why not do half and half? Now around where we are, there's, on the way to the castle, I showed you there's like a wee little cabin. But also just here, there's some sort of barns, open barns as it were, that we can certainly add on to. There's a prefab and uh, like a, a barn, if you like. Uh, one of. Hang on a minute. One of these that's right in front of us now. That's just here on the other side of the lake. And you've got the lake as a water source. So that's just here. And it's still staying reasonably central to the map, and it's quite open. Now, I mean, but then there's a ton of like, there's a ton of little places in there around here as well. But I'm, I am conscious of the fact that if we take over anywhere that's too big, like say here, um, that the, the zombie spawns might be uh, unmanageable every time you log in. So yeah. Should we get that goat? Oh, is he just lying down for a nap? Oh, I don't know. Oh. Zombies are quite far away, aren't they? Oh, that chicken's all the way over there. He's wandering over there. Yeah, they're bloody miles away now. Nah, that's not. Because I doubt I'll get him with one arrow. And I want to concentrate on getting our stuff back, so let's do that. So, I already emptied that car. Oh yeah, we could do with some doors, couldn't we? <laughs> A driver's door, anyway. Just so I don't get smacked. Come on. So. Oh, it's so good to have a car, though. We're not running everywhere. I don't know whether to go off-road or not. 
Shall we see how the car fares? Because this is the way it always would have come. So I mean, we'll just keep an eye on the uh, the health of the vehicle whilst we're doing this. If it significantly reduces, we're going to have to stick to the roads, which is... Oh, that's a shame. But... It looks okay for the minute. And I suppose our vehicle damage is on. So for anybody who... Um, used to do it, that this little hump here... You'd go flying over that, and man, you could get some air time. <laughs> I'm not going to do it, though, because I don't want to damage or blow up the car. So we're going to go over here and go and get the bits and pieces out of the vehicle that's at the top. What a wee bit of lag there. Yeah, we've got a wee bit of stuttering. Here we go. Oh, there's a truck. Okay. Oops. I should be able to stand here and just lob everything over. And then what we'll have to do is build some boxes to store some stuff in. I mean, if we're going to build a base, we're going to be able to... Keep and sort and stuff anyway. Uh, the idea was not to keep too much stuff in the car. Alright. There we go. There we go. There we go. Done. Next. Um, so yeah, I mean, let me know. How are you guys getting on now that the, the zombies have, have slightly changed? Uh, you know, they've lost their homing pigeon essence, which I like. So, yeah, let me know how you've been getting on. Uh, I have to be honest, I haven't been back in the game since the last episode I recorded. So, it was like 10 days ago. Um, especially, especially as a, a comparison between uh, single player and multiplayer. Because um, I do think that they behave differently. We don't seem to be damaging our car. God, there's some stuttering. I can only assume that's to do with rendering in and stuff. Right, so the Rager is down here. There it is. Now again, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to stay nice and close. Because now we're on the edge of the town. God knows where those uh, the puppets will spawn in. So, Oh, it's not too much. Oh yeah, I forgot we had the shotgun. I'll try and make it to a drop today as well. I'll be interested to see how um, the drop survives. Tell me we haven't used all that fuel just going from one farm to the next. Definitely, definitely got to make a trader run. Just so we can make some money, just so we can put some fuel in the car. Alright. Alright. Come on. There we go. Yeah, God, we are eating through the fuel. Ouch. Has that been turned up? Uh, or tweaked, do you think, since the update? I don't remember the Wolfswagon being quite so thirsty. So actually, before we find somewhere to call our home, we might be making a run to the trader. Because um, we need to make a fair bit of dough. And then get this this car filled up. I think I can 
trying to remember where those barns are, but I've got to not be distracted, because I think we're going to have enough fuel to get to the trader, maybe. And then to the petrol station, which is not too far from it, so I'll show you where I mean in a minute once we, uh, once we stop. Oh! Treat! Oh, and it's got fuel. Right, where's that bloody jack? No, this is the car. Because the jack, I think because it's surrounded by... There it is. Because it's got all this black. It kind of just blends in. Right, let's just close that while I'm working on the car. Should we take... I wonder if we should take the wheel while we're at it. I wonder if we should take the wheel service. So, remove door. Right, will this door, oh my god, it's terrible. Uh, oh no, it won't. Alright, that's okay. That's okay. Will it fit in this one? Yes, it will. Okay, good. I wonder if we just take a wheel uh, as a spare. Now, I've heard uh, reports of... What's that? Rager. I've heard of um, vehicles losing their wheels, but to my knowledge, it was only the Ragers that were having, having a tendency to just have a wheel fall off. So, um, yeah, let me know. End service. Give me that jack, thank you. I don't think... I'm not really fussed on taking anything else. It's really just the driver's door that protects you from getting smacked. Has anybody spawned anything now? Don't know. I don't know. Uh, right, let's get the fuel can and drain fuel and because it's single player we don't really have to uh, worry about any other seats in the car either to be honest right that's right that makes me feel a little bit better so now right I tell you what uh, Actually, do we have to have... Do we have to have it on a jack to fit the door? No, you don't. Nice. Perfect. Let's chuck that in there, then. Alright, let's transfer goods. I forgot we had so much stuff. Look at it all. Oh, I forgot we found that saw. Why we've got all this clothing? Rags. Probably rags. Rags for making a bed and rope and all that good stuff. And then we'll have to do... I mean, it would be cool, though, I suppose, to be near a water source so we can um, do a fishing video. I've never... Are we full already? Holy moly. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'm going to use that. Because that sword is looking a bit sorry for itself. And then I'll just use that up to repair that. Perfect. Um... <coughs> Oh. 
Right. How much? How much? How much? I hate this so much wasted space. That's okay though. We're losing one top. That's fine. God, it looks like it's going to rain as well. All right. I mean, I don't really want a door on the car because it's... Stop that. Drive. Because it's such a lengthy process just to get in and out. And then she doesn't shut the door after her until we actually start moving. So being chased down by zombies, it's not fantastic. But... All right. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Like I said I would. Here we go. So we're going to go to B4 Trader. Um, we're going to cut across here. It should be relatively straightforward. And then there's a petrol station just here. So, not too far away. And it's got a pretty good sort of long view. Uh, actually, saying that, that means absolutely nothing these days, doesn't it? Because the zombies don't spawn in before you get there anymore. Hmm. Brakes are good. Now, I didn't seem to sustain a whole lot of damage going across the field. I think it is just if we hit something. So, I'm going to give the, the, off, the a little bit of off-road and a go and, and see what happens. Our door looks so battered. And yeah, the weather's got a bit pants. I mean we could take over the we could take over the, the pig pen, I suppose. Dunno. Like I said, it might be nice to have a water source, so if we need any uh, water for anything, we've got that available to us. So either on a on a river or on a lake, I think. I think either of those is probably gonna be a good bet. God, we just eat in fuel. This is insane. I d I'm not even entirely sure we're gonna make it to the trader, but we ain't got no money. Might be pushing it. I didn't think about emptying the fuel out of all the others, so cross country is our friend, right? Look at it! I mean, the petrol station's literally right, kind of. Whoa, easy, easy. It's just down there on the left, but I, like I said, I haven't got any money, so it's even if I could get. <laughs> we might be pushing this to the trader. Oh, air time! Oh, peeps. We're gonna... Alright, we're gonna get to the top of this hill and hopefully it'll be able to freewheel as far as we can anyway. Look, look, look! That's insane! There's no way... I mean, I've turned, you know... Have I come off too early? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to run out of fuel. No! Oh no, what do I do? What do I do? Should we see how far we freewheel? Let's see how far we can go. <laughs> I might have to adjust that on the settings because there's no way we've hardly driven. I mean, there are some uneconomical vehicles out there, but this thing is probably... There's no way this thing is that bad. I'm really impressed on how far we're freewheeling right now. That hill's going to kill us. I'm going to be pushing it to the trader. 
That was very quiet, though. Yeah, that hill is going to do us in, I think. I don't think this is going to give us enough. <laughs> I mean, considering the distance that we've driven, there's no way we would have gone through that. Oh, no. That amount of fuel in such a short distance. There's just no way. Oh, the hill. That's not even a hill, is it? It's a slight rise. Man. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to push the car all the way to the trailer. This may take some time. So. Oh, might get a jog up. Feeling slightly warm. I'm not surprised. Pushing a bloody car. So what we'll do is I'll able see you at the trailers in three, two, one. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Finally got here. Finally made it. Thankfully, thankfully, there was quite a few sort of uh, uh, downhill uh, areas where... Right, let's just park in the shade. Because she's... Stop, 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 stop. Um, where we can just... <sighs> Just pause for a second because we are sweating. So, I need to make some room. I'm just going to sell this Rager alternator. That should free up some room so I can take my jacket off. Either buy or get lost. If you want me to buy that. You better give 1500 quid? Yeah, please. Straight in the bank. So. Nice. Alright. Let's go back to the... Go back to the car, take a jacket off. I've already taken my socks off. Alright. So now we can do that. And we'll be a little bit better. Not completely, but better. Uh, I wonder, actually, if it's worth chopping a tree down and just making a box right now because unlike with like seven days to die where you can't affect anything in the traders here you can i believe and 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 we don't have an axe but we do have that yeah cut down tree let's do that i can dump everything then in the box that i actually want to keep and that'll help us sort through our stuff. So what I'm going to do um, probably is speed this up, cut it out, something like that. I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me for uh, probably the best part of half an hour running around selling all my stuff. And uh, But I'll, I'll, I'll keep you with me to build the box. I will do that. Uh, so craft um, here. I want one of those, please. Pop you right there. So, ten planks. Did we get a sh chainsaw already? I don't even remember. I don't think so. Oh, we should... Oh, no, we'll sell that. Got a toolbox, though, so that's cool. No, that's fine. Alright, let's chop up some... into planks. So you can either right-click and select, you can go into tab, right-click and select, or you can hold down F on an item. And um, So, yeah, we can either do this, and it'll cut up whatever log that is. Um, you, can, you can't you can right-click here, sorry, but yeah, hold down F. So you've got a couple of options, depending on what suits you better. Um, I have a feeling we're going to need a ton of sticks for building, so I'm tempted to try and get that. Um, oh, we need a blunt instrument as well. But that's okay. I think there's a crowbar in the car. We'll use that. If you didn't have one, you can craft one of these uh, planks into a club. So, um, we used to be able to. Oh, wait. Oh, do you need to sharpen? No, I got one on me. Can you 
in here? Yeah. Wooden club. Oh, because I haven't got a sharp implement in my hands. Right. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. So you could craft, if you've got a sharp implement, say like the axe, you could craft one of these into a club. And that will do the same job. That will be your, your blunt instrument, as it were. Uh, but as it turns out... Et voila. So... Let's... So now I've built that, what I'm going to do um, is just chuck that in the car so I don't lose it. And I'm going to go through my stuff and sell what I don't want to keep. Take off some clothes, maybe. Um, yeah, and go from there. So, like I said, I'll speed it up or I'll cut it. It depends how long I'm here for, to be honest. So, here we go. Nice. Right. That's everything sold. So, what I'm going to do now is quickly go to the bank and so we made just over nine grand from what we sold so we're just going to go to the bank and get a gold card so I can um, buy some gold so I if I die I want to spawn back at my base I can so here yeah, but it costs 5,000 pounds but it's the only one that you can have. Uh, let's just do 77. Yeah, for some reason my numpad doesn't work on Scum. It's weird. Okay. So now we're going to pick this card. And we're going to buy gold. And really, I just want uh, this go for price a thousand Ch oh yeah there oh god that leaves us with not right okay no 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 let's do two that leaves us with enough to buy some fuel so let's submit yes no I think you've done enough so now there's our shiny gold card that down there and that blue card now it basically becomes null and void so we're gonna just destroy it because now we got the gold card it's all good so that's that done next thing oh no where 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 <laughs> we haven't got any fuel i might be able to run for that though oh we should go to it all right before we do that then uh which way am i running south that way pleasure is on that way, sort of. Wait, what? Yeah, we came in the trade of th this way. So we want to go back where we came, which is this way. So it should be down the coast over there. Now, before I forget, actually, and whilst we're in the safe zone, I don't know if anybody's spawned in yet. Yeah, I've taken half the clothes off as well because it was so hot. Stand in the shade for a second. What else can I remove? Because I feel like we're going to need everything else. Leave that in the car. I'll free up some space. I don't think the hat makes any difference whatsoever. Night vision, that makes a difference. We could just run around freeing in the air, couldn't we? But Gloves. Pants. Take them off for the minute. Yeah. Before we do anything, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into my settings. I'm going to do this with you right now. Fuel drain from engine multiply. So I have never changed any of these. I've always left them at default. Um, but, I'm sorry, I think the amount of fuel that we burnt through in such a short space of time, which was 
I mean, where do we go? We went from here, there, 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 to come to here, and went through half a tank of fuel. So, settings. Vehicles. I'm thinking, so this should go down to nothing, so which means it won't drain at all, I guess. Can't do halves. Like 0 0.75. So let's go for... S let's go for 6. And see what happens. I have a feeling we're going to have to buy some fuel from this fella. Because we're still quite a ways from... Uh, the, the petrol station. I don't fancy pushing this all the way back to the petrol station. But, you know. Mostly because it's all uphill. Anyway. Let's go for the drop. We can certainly run for the drop. It should be She's still slightly off. I d uh, there's there's not really much else I can take off, sweetheart. Seems we're gonna be legging it on the way there. Let's see if running oh no we ain't got any pants on. Are we gonna have our butt hanging out? Let's see. Run around in the nud. Why not? Just with a backpack on. Let it all hang out. Right. So get back on the road. Okay, let's go. Try not to end up in the water. So what I'll do is I'm going to leg it to the drop. I have got some arrows on me. Possibly not enough. And I didn't pick a flare up either. Fail. But considering... I, d I don't know how, what this is going to be like, actually. Look, I'm literally wearing no clothes. None. And she's still too warm. Right, I think... It's going to be down there somewhere. There's a drop chip. Well, I'd say that's a yes, it's dropped. Where has it dropped? I don't see any smoke. It hasn't dropped yet? Jesus, Mary and Joseph, look at them all. I'm so glad this thing has got an auto, like, blur function. <laughs> Jesus, look at them all. <gasps> there it is. If it lands on them, does it squish them? Because it ought to. Cross the doors at this end. gonna go for the rocks and see what happens because I want what's in that bloody drop right quite a few of them heard that Get the attention. Oh, that was just way too short. Look at them all. Oh, but he saw me. Whoa. <coughs> Did you hear that weird glitch with the sound then. Look at them all looking around. Jesus, look at it. 
They're really not going for it though, are they? Let's go a little bit higher. Let's see if we can get him to go over the other side of the road. Absolutely no goddamn way in hell. Look at this. Wait, where is she so fast? I got a proper slap there. They're all going to disappear, aren't they, if I don't deal with them? Damn it! There they are. Damn, damn, double damn. I don't understand the mentality of that. So they're on high alert and somehow see me from like, I don't know, 100 yards away? Maybe I gotta throw rocks from bushes, do you think? Should we try again? Well, I saw you from all the way over the other side of the road. Look. Where is that other half going? I'm not sure we got a 20 minute time. <gasps> Alrighty. I did not know all of those were there. So much for sneaking in, in the back. <laughs> God, this would be easy with a car, wouldn't it? Eh? Damn. I should have just bought the fuel and mowed them all down with the car. This is taking, this is taking way too long. I do not have enough arrows to be dealing with this. And I don't think I'm going to get in there. Why did you do that? What? Still legging it around down there. Glitch much? So many, this is this. <laughs> the time it takes me to open that door.
Oh my, yeah, I'm not getting it. Oh god, I'm not getting anywhere near that door, peeps. We need the car. This is the disadvantage with having zombie levels, I suppose, this high. <laughs> Bloody hell. How much time, oh, how much time have we got, do you think? If I run so fast that they don't spawn in, what do you reckon? I could give that a go. They'll just hop in though, won't they? Look at them. Like instant. Arr! I'm gonna run back, get the car, put some fuel on it, in it, but then we're gonna just use an absolute metric ton just to mow them all down, aren't we? That's my bad, peeps. That's my bad. Damn. Damn, damn. Double damn. But we've got 20 minutes on the timer. How long have I been? Maybe five? If I can get this done ASAP. We might get in there. But there is so many puppets. I thought it was just on the one side. I didn't realise there was another mini horde on the other side. I mean, don't get me wrong, I freaking love it. If I had an automatic weapon. Wait. Yeah, I've literally, I've literally just got a handgun that I can... Right, who sells the fuel? Mechanics guy, probably. Please don't sell it for an astronomical price. Prices are not uh, by, um, er, 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 this. Oh, 600. There's a car, I bet come full. Okay. Even if the car get, no, we don't want the car getting stuck up there. You know why? Let's see. Fill fuel. I bet this gets us absolutely nothing. But it'd be interesting to see now I've changed the uh, setting. Oh, that's that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Right. Serious? Seriously? You don't? Oh, yeah, because I filled it full of logs. We can cut down logs anytime. Right. Drive. <laughs> that should be enough. She says. Right, this me and Nick itself go and run some puppets down. Uh, this way. Alright. Let's just see how many there are. too far. We don't want to take them out of the equation. But we could not. What, I killed two of you? Is the fuel seems to have worked. Right, anybody left that I can't take out with a blunt sword? Right, I think it's just her. Come on. 
get out of the car faster. No. Ah, loads of time. <laughs> that was so... That was so many zombies. Oh my god, I haven't lockpicked in ages either. Oh my god. Right, hang on a minute. Oh god. Right. Ah, oh, Chaser! Oh my god, that's perfect. Oh! Nice. Well, spare set of MVGs, yes, please. Stop that. Right. That's so many zombies. <laughs> I'm not changing it. But, uh, oh, we can sell it. We should just go back to the trader and sell it. Oh, yeah, we, right, okay, we need to put some clothes back on. Let's put that back in there. Not the site, though, I might keep the site. Nice. Hey, <gasps> okay. Uh, let's put all this back in my trousers. No, not in my gloves. Trousers. I want. I want that so bad. And I, yes. You know what? I. I'm not even gonna worry about. We can always make more arrows. Always. Not gonna worry about the sledgehammer. I kinda want that axe though. And we'll take the knife. Uh sell that. Because even if I plan to go anywhere at like the nuclear plant, if you want me to sort of go up to the the irradiated areas. Um, oh, superb, superb, just carry that in our hands, oh we got, we got quite a lot of room, we can sell, let's take those, can we put those in our trousers, of course we can, put that in there, and we'll take our lonely arrow back, right we've got five minutes, Possibly go and have a look and see if our ar any of our arrows are around here anywhere. Possibly not though, because I ran out of the uh, area, didn't I? I should be careful with my injuries, really? Okay. Look at them. What? Oh, how long have we got? Five minutes. Let's go search some bodies. <laughs> so many puppets. I have to count maybe in editing or something. <laughs> Got plenty of nasty batteries, so I'm not going to take any batteries. Uh, we'll take screwdrivers, though. Well, these two died. Oh, they were best friends. I wish they didn't despawn quite so fast, and then we'd be able to kind of assess quite how many bodies there are. Oh, I know. It took some. It took some hitting, and I paid absolutely no attention as to whether um, we were. Taking, you know, any damage on the car. But to be honest, for the chainsaw and everything else, it was worth it. I'm not taking the eyes either. The last time I sold a uh, puppet. Well, they're not eyes anymore, are they? Oh, it is an eye now. Um, they didn't go for very much. Right, let's get back to the trader. Sell a few bits and pieces. That's another chicken. Just heard him in my right ear. Right. No, actually, looking at the damage on the car, I don't think we took any damage from hitting those puppets. So, I'm pretty happy about that. Sentry up. Right, 
gonna does that fail the equip? Let's see what this looks like. <gasps> it's the red dot one. Oh that was that was good. That was good, that was good. Okay, let's put that away. I don't know how much you get for the medical gloves actually. We'll find out now. And then our character needs to eat. But I think we've got some memories from a previous drop. I think Hello. the drop what is your emergency? Go ahead. Um, the drop where I nearly got eaten by a bear. Oh, eight dollars, nice. Or eighty-four, I should say. In the bank, yes, please. That'll do for you. In the bank, nice. So we now got five grand in the bank. Sweet, and a couple of gold. I need to see actually what I put away in that jacket of mine. Uh, because, because, because. It did have, it did have, it did have. So we could take, what did I just do with that? I'll put it up there. We could take the gas station on, which is the gun, to be honest. Let's just check. So shift R, check your ammo, and we're full. So we're full, we've got two full mags there. We, uh, are we suppressed? We are. Nice. Let's go get fuel, peeps. Let's go get fuel. And then we are free to drive around. So, let's see how much fuel we drain in between here and the petrol station. If it looks like we're hardly draining anything, I'll just, I'll tweak that saying again. Because otherwise, the entire series will literally just be me going back and forth to the trader. Whoa. Don't say anything. Don't, don't tip over. Don't tip over. <laughs> uh, don't, yeah, just, we'll just, we'll just forget that happened. Right, drop has exploded. Don't have to worry about that. Zomb oh look, their bits are still here. Oh, so many zombies there. <laughs> I really wanted to be up on the roof uh, when I called that horde before because I was very interested. And I have noticed, uh, or what I noticed at the end of the last episode uh, before I kind of logged off, um, is that they have definitely tweaked uh, the settings as far as... Um, how many zombies so i haven't changed my numbers at all and you know as much as i do because i tested it with you that i had a standard of about uh eight zombies surrounding me and after logging out or just before logging out at the end of the last episode i had 12. so it's like a what a 50 percent increase so I'm not surprised the drop has that many more zombies, actually. Uh, because the... Yeah, because if the if the base has changed from 12... So originally, say, the when I was doing the testing video, I had, say, 8 zombies around me. And there was always 3 times that at the um, drop. So that would be 24, 24 puppets. Well, if I've now got 12 around me, even if you can't see all 12, if I've now got 12 around me, that means there'd be 36 at the drop. Well, it kind of looked that way, didn't it? Um, from... I didn't... Yeah, I have to admit, like I said, it, it's, it wasn't the time for counting, but um, it definitely, definitely looked that way. So... A lot of... You know, when they put that patch in to remove the uh, you know the sort of homing in action of the, the zombies then what they've done is tweak tweaked the bass lines I think right so what used to be bloody fantastic is the zombies would spawn in now 
right? So you'd be up on this hill and you'd have the most fantastic view for taking them out with a rifle or indeed a bow, I suppose. And now, you really got to be in amongst it, haven't you? I just kind of don't trust it because they either, they're either in or they're not. And I don't want them to necessarily spawn in around me either. I thought the car was smoking for a minute there. Does it look like they're not going to? She's inside. Right, we need to take care of her. Right, before she calls somebody in, basically. All right. Let's. Oh, money. Thank you very much. Let's loot this place. Keep it in my boots. So let's vacate. And then what we'll do is we'll have to. I uh, will have to think of a a base next episode. Have a. Oh, I'm gonna have a think. Yeah, that's why. That's why. The way. Ah! Sorry, I'm thinking, looking, and trying to drive all at the same time. It's it's not a good cocktail. <laughs> but the car is full, and we do need to put some roots down. We definitely could do with getting a bed down anyway. So I'm thinking the reduction on the fuel is definitely. You know, you can kind of see it going down, but it's not as horrendous as before. So let me know if you're happy with me changing that set into the, the level that we've got it. Pebble? Go on, write yourself. Go on. Damn it. There was a mighty pebble back there, and it done me in. Alright, come on, go. Oh, there's even, there's that. I mean, we kind of got a fence, sort of. We got an orchard on tap. We can always plonk our bed in the piggery. And then we build on, like, a garage and storage on the side could do that so let me know in the comments so this is option one is here so where are we on the map we are right here so uh, it's still fairly central to everything out in the open yeah trees respawn we got the car anyway so we can go and get logs with the car so that would be I can put a bed down and not have to build anything to do it um, but I can also then tag tack some sort of building on the side. So that's option one, is the piggery. <laughs> uh, <I laughs> oh my god, I gotta stop driving off-road. <laughs> oh my days. And there is just the river just here for as far as water source is concerned. And I suppose, you know, you don't have to travel far for the for the sea or the or the lake. So, <laughs> so the other option is just up here. But again, you don't get this large zombie zombie spawn here. So you've got that little hut, which has got like uh the wine barrels in it. And then you've got this sort of barn with the with the steps. You can't build anything but boxes up there, up on the second level, which is the bummer. But uh, yeah, it's 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 relatively usable. And then you kind of build uh, um, some sort of 
although it's single player so we wouldn't have to really worry too much about it but you can build sort of um, cabinets or a wall here in between the two to kind of you know block them in so that's the other option and then option number three most of you know where I'm talking about for those of you who don't know the scum map that well I'll show you the last location which is potentially a half and half I think Feudal might have used it in one of his series is is is, is actually thinking about it so the little mini boot camp is just on my left just there although the, the loot in there now is not great quality in through that tree line is the trenches you got this big big lake here which just sounds of frogs permanently and then you've got this so you've got that barn open barn there and you've got that wee little cabin. So this is very similar to the cabin that's at the the one by the church. That's the three choices. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, they're all fairly, it's all fairly central. Uh, so what have we got? The... The piggery is here. Um, the barn I showed you is, uh, I think, here. And this one is here. So, that's what, I can, that's what I can think of so far. That's not in the middle of the woods. That's relatively easy to get to with the vehicle and get in and out of. But that stays reasonably central. Um, like I said, there are a host of sort of small farm-esque um, down here, isn't it? It's all around here, this area. Here, I think. That's an option. I mean, you couldn't get any more central than B2, could you really? But yeah, reasonably close to everything. Um, so yeah. Let me know. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you've got a preference. Because I'm thinking you basically tack on to here. Or build off of that. Um, build a garage maybe. Put the car in and uh, extra extra storage. Like I said, the piggery is literally just put your bed in there. And I'd build everything else. Um, the barn up at by the castle. That's just got the river down the way as well. That's fairly open, so that would require some, some building. Yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think. I don't mind. Whatever you would like, I shall do. Rather than tacking onto a house in one of the towns, I'm thinking out of the way a little bit might be a little bit easier. Um, so yeah, I will say at this point, thank you for watching. Um, leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the episode. Bit of a quieter one, I suppose, apart from that drop, which was mental. Um, and my epic, epic car roll. I think that was quite impressive. Um, <laughs> but a little bit tame. We've picked all our stuff up, though. We've sold, we've got money in the bank. Um, as far as, I've got to stop saying, um, I'm so sorry, everybody, if that's annoying you. Fuel consumption, let me know what you think about that as well. Oh, we're going to miss that drop. Oh, it's just over there, but we're not going for it, we're already running over. Um, oh, <laughs> do you want me to tweak that, uh, um, <laughs> fuel setting anymore let me know <laughs> so before i say um any more times i'm gonna say like the video subscribe thank you so much for watching and until next time take it easy and take care